Hello, welcome everyone again to our C++ open form tutorials. Now I've noticed that uh, there are some of us who, who need a bigger font size, not an issue. Uh, if you're on Linux Mint, uh, just make sure you can go to Edit Preferences and then you go to Custom Font and then you'll see that the font size increase. Hopefully this is big enough or else if you still think this is too small, leave a comment in the section below. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to redo my old videos, but at least for the new ones, I'll try to make the font size a little bit bigger. Alright, hopefully the sound and the fonts and everything is working uh, to your liking, uh, so that we can sort of get going with this lesson, or this, this uh, run through of how to do the vectors. Okay, so uh, next, next, okay, I'm not going to do functions, I'm going to do uh, classes and objects and we are going to continue where we left off okay so we have our youtube.c++ file all right and again uh, we have our constructor and destructors okay that's the uh, g++ this YouTube, uh, youtube.c++ okay and again we note that uh, uh, it's impossible to Com to do this because we can't compile it because uh, we are trying to access a private variable and uh, C++ will just not allow this to compile okay so therefore uh, this private variable uh, over here okay uh, this this little line of code here it is not you know not possible to execute so that's the point of having uh, functions to allow us to access all of these private uh, variables and that's what the point of private there is there for because private variables you don't want to mess with them you don't want to mess with private variables so you only want to use the public functions to deal with the private variables the point is that so you don't you don't edit these uh, private variables in undesirable ways, okay? So uh, that's that's that that's the point of these variables, okay? All right. So uh, let's let's uh, recompile the code. And actually, I think in the last video we saw this uh, we saw this uh, piece of text being in uh, being uh, printed three times. And I don't think we want this piece of text here. We want it, you know, before the for loop. Okay, so it's a bit neater and it's like not repetitive. So let's do a G plus plus again, and we'll run a dot out. So one 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 one. Okay, so this is uh, this is when the object starts running. Okay, so now now let's just uh, do something uh, simple. Also, uh, we want to give a uh, vector one and vector to appropriate values okay so how how do we start doing vector 1 vector 2 so well the, the code is already here we just need to define a function to uh, set the values of these vectors so we can and after that we can just copy and paste all of these uh, codes in there of course we can use a for loop and that will be, of, uh, be much neater but um, I don't want to do all the extra work, so I'm just going to I'm just going to do a very simple copy and paste into a void function. So let me do a void, and this this uh, this kind of function you don't need to put a return uh, zero or anything like that. So it's a little bit easier to to do. So uh, I want to uh, set vector one, okay. And now I'll do another void set vector two, and what this will do is to give us the ability to set the value of vector one and vector two. Okay, so how do we do it? All right. Uh. Well, we go down here. We are going to do over here void vectors. Okay, set vector one, and then uh. The brackets and curly braces likewise void vectors okay set vector 2 uh, close bracket and curly braces and what do we do over here okay 
Very simple, uh, we have a double of vector 1 and vector 2 here, just like we have a double of vector 1 over here and a double of vector 2 here. All we need to do, since these are basically the same, these variables are defined in basically the same way, I'm just going to copy and paste all of this code here. It's a very lazy thing to do, but uh, if it works, it works, alright? Uh, of course, for, for actual, actual, uh, uh, well, actual uh, coding, you might not want to do something like this, but uh, you might want to use a for loop. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just do it the lazy way, alright? Okay, so I'm going to delete this one saying we are adding vector 1 to vector 2. So that, that uh, I kind of want to leave it out later, because I'm not actually adding vector 1 or vector 2, I'm just defining them. Okay, we can actually, um, uh, what do you call that? Put this as part of the functions later on. Okay, we can actually put uh, use use this double vector add as part of the functions later. All right, then uh, we can sort of you know deal with it then. Okay, so uh, what this does is that it allows us to set our vector one and vector two when we call on these functions. So let's let's do something simple. All right, let's do something simple. Okay, I'm going to comment these parts out because I, I don't really need those anymore. Okay, I'm not going. I don't really need those anymore. And in fact, I don't really need this part also. Oopsie, I don't need this part as well. Okay, I just want to call my class and then I want to execute these bits of code. So let's uh let's do print vector uh we do we set we import the object first and then after that we do vec uh what what do you need to do set vector one let's just do a set vector one and set vector two all right where is my yeah it's getting a bit messy so yes you you kind of uh, realize as we keep adding functionality to our code the the whole line of code gets longer and longer and that actually presents us uh, one motivation to to want to separate out some of these classes and functions from the main file where we have our int main function here okay so let's let's do a set vector one first set vector one Okay, and then we'll call set vector two. All right, so let's try compiling this code and see what happens. Okay, so uh, okay, it looks like there is some uh, typo error there. I I put a colon instead of a semicolon, but let's do this again, and it should give us the right results. So one 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 one. Okay, so looks like by doing so. We have actually set our first vector as uh, vector one as one one one. So when we print out the vector for one, so vector one row zero column one is one, vector one row one column one is one, vector one row two uh, column one is one. So this is how we do our thing, okay? And this is how we uh, initialize and set our vectors. Okay, so let's go and uh, keep going we we can uh, keep uh, adding functionality the other thing we want to do is we want to print vector 2 of course okay int print vector 2 so but of course we know we not we don't necessarily need to call this uh, particular function but uh, since since we are doing a uh, for it doing it for both vector 1 and 2 we can sort of just uh, have have it uh, like so you can see we're having like uh, the number of functions to become becoming more and more so you can see the utility the good thing about having a class is that all of these functions are packaged nicely okay packaged nicely into sort of a uh, one crisp uh, 
I mean, it's, it's better, okay? It's, it's better for organization when you uh, do it in, in a class mode. When you organize your functions into a class mode. So you see, we have a, vec a print vector 1, print vector 2, set vector 1 and set vector 2. So this is how we can actually uh, get our uh, vectors and work with vectors. So, uh, and what's more, you have all all your vector variable data stored within this uh, functions over uh, within this class over here uh, and it's and that's how we can work with it and it's, it's basically a similar way of working using a structure as well okay but anyway uh, not gonna do that uh, now just know that we can uh, manipulate uh, vectors or manipulate arrays using classes and this is one convenient and classic way we can do it. Okay, so this is just to get us used to some syntax. All right, now now let's do the the part where we can start adding these vectors up. So let's do void uh, add vectors. Okay, add vectors. So what's this? What's this? Uh, well, we what 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 do we have already? We have this vector add function, and then we we can just cannibalize not cannibalize we can just edit this code as follows to include it within our class so this is called vector add all right so let's do uh, or maybe we can okay I'll just call it add vectors okay because uh, I, I like that naming convention okay uh, no offense if you don't like it but I, I like it better this way so yeah anyway so uh, let's let's define vector add or oh, add vectors okay so double I need to put it under vectors and uh, vectors. and I'll put add vectors there I'll not have an input because it already uh, add vectors uh, this function already has access to all the uh, data it needs okay all right so well uh, what I what about this vector add result here Vector add result is uh, something I can put in my private uh, part of the not not private part the the private uh, access specifier. I can put those variables there. So I'm not going to define it inside my function anymore. I'm just going to copy it, okay, and I'm going to paste it inside this uh, this private access specifier. So vector add result. All right. So that's that's that. So what does this say? Uh, for for i equals to one one to three or one to two. Sorry, one to two. Vector add result equals to. Okay, instead of vector a, I'll just put vector one since since that is the vector one and two. Instead of vector a and b, I put vector one and two. So that will just uh, add all of this. Okay. So and instead of double, I will put it as void. Because I'm not returning anything. I don't need to return anything. Okay, void. And I'll just delete this part. Then we won't have to deal with pointers and anything. So doing so, this doing so, we won't have to deal with pointers. So after I've done this, of course we want to actually uh, print out our vectors, right? We want to print out our vectors. Print and added vectors okay so what's what's a uh, print added vectors well uh it's basically just printing the added result okay and we just want to print this vector add result okay so let's do a void print uh or int uh print vectors so we can call it print uh, add added vectors Okay, I'm gonna paste it here. Print added vectors will be where is it? Okay, this this thing I can delete later. Uh, where's the print added vectors? Int print added vectors, and what we are printing is this thing called vector add result. So let's go to print added vectors. Okay, print added vectors. Okay, print added vectors. Okay, 
So print other vectors, that is the name. And it's an integer type. So C out we are uh, we we are printing our added vectors. So what which vector are we printing? We are printing the vector at result here. Okay, so I'm going to scroll here and as you can see you can see the code getting longer and longer. So uh, it's always good to have it nice, neat and tidy in all these uh, functions and classes. Imagine if you had 20 plus functions and you want to keep scrolling, uh, it's a bit difficult, yeah? especially or if you have even 100 functions. So it's better to scroll through uh, groups of 20 functions where you are more, um, yeah, it's easier to scroll through, right? It's just for organization purposes. So C out vector, so it's the, instead of vector 2, I'll just call it vector sum, all right? Because it, that's what the name is supposed to mean. And I'll just paste the variable here. Okay, vector at result. Okay, so, all right, let, let's try, okay. So we can do this uh, set vector 1 and 2. After that, we, we can add the vectors and we can print the results. So we have a void add vectors and a print added vectors here. So we'll do the void add vectors. Vectors. Okay. And vec uh, print added vectors. Okay. So that's how we that's how we do it. Okay, well, I, I'm surprised that that didn't have any bugs there. Okay, that's very rare. <laughs> I was hoping there were some bugs and then we can just talk through stuff. But okay, basically th what this code is doing is I want to set vector 1, I want to set vector 2, I want to add them together and I want to print the results out. So setting vector 1 and 2 is just basically doing our input. Okay, then we want to add the vectors together using this for loop. And then after that, we want to print out these added vectors using this. So let's see, since we have already compiled it, let's see what, uh, what the code gives. So 3, 3, 3, and 2, 2, 1, 0. So now I have some, I have a function that just sums up these vectors. Okay, uh, 3 plus, uh, okay, 3 plus 2 is 5 good uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 and then 2 plus 0 is 2 okay so that that actually puts the uh, print the the vector addition into our uh, what do you call that uh, it, it will put this vector addition into our uh, classes okay so uh, let's see Okay, so we, there's a lot more we can do. All right, there's a lot more we can do with this. Of course, we can start, uh, you know, doing, doing our lengths, our vector lengths. All right, so. All right, and there are three ways we can do our vector lengths here. You can do a length of vector one, length of vector two, and vector at result. Okay. Uh, okay, we can do our vector 1, vector 2, and vector add results, but that will actually give us three more functions. So imagine if you have like 10 vectors you want to work with, that's going to be very troublesome. So, uh, yeah, we want to put this vector length into here. And yeah, uh, we want to sort of uh, get get the uh, appropriate lengths okay and uh, okay so how do we do it okay uh, yeah like I said before we can actually uh, do it the, the brute force way where we actually have three more functions added or we can just uh, put this put this uh, vector length right we can just put this vector length function as it is into the uh, 
the uh, list of functions here and then uh, we talk about ways to uh, deal with this later where we can get the individual numbers uh, as such okay but that, that's that's another topic for another time we don't have to actually go into it you, there's a, uh, as you do this that you realize there's a lot you can do already okay uh, so um, okay anyway uh, so let's let's uh, let's start we can actually have a double vector length all right we can have a double vector length here so vector length will be our functions let's call this uh, under the vectors part let's put this like so and we'll have a double uh, vector length defined over here so double uh, vector length okay so I'll put double X double Y double Z okay and that's that's the input so let's let's just test it out okay so this part I want to delete and this part I also want to delete maybe about 20 lines okay undo that's too many uh, let's do about 15 lines then okay undo there's still too many 10 lines okay actually that's not too many okay I think I'm mistaken now my I'll just delete as such manually seems to be the nicest and you can see our our main our main file becomes very very short see when we when we uh, do all of this but anyway let's see uh double a b c a equals to 1.23 b equals to 3.45 c equals to 2.56 so i just i just give random numbers and then let's do a back vector length okay so uh uh vec dot vectors length Uh, what do you call it? A, B, C. Okay, let's see whether this works. And then, of course, uh, let's see. Uh, what's our what's our vector length code do? Okay, it will give a double L, and you'll return that L. So I can give. So it'll return a specific variable. So I can do double L equals to this. Uh, vector length which is returned so we use it as if it were a normal function except the syntax here is that you you just have this extra VEC at the front okay so I'm running out of time but let me try C out to do C out of this length okay C out uh, printing vector length okay and then I'll just do an end line there and let's see whether this thing works Fingers crossed, okay. Oh, we did not declare A in this scope. Okay, so looks like we need to do a double ABC. I, I could not do it the lazy way. Okay, double A, double B, double C. Or rather, since it's already here, double, double, double. All right, there you go, and there you go. A dot out. So one, two, three, five point five five, six point seven eight, nine point ten eleven. Okay, so you look at this. Well, we have a vector sum, and also the vector length has been printed out. So it looks like. Uh, all of it works as, as as such. I'm not going to do too much on uh, classes anymore uh, for the time being, because this actually shows you the basic, a lot of uh, what you basically need to know. You can see that the uh, the uh, anyway, this this thing is kind of redundant here. I want to delete this. Okay, so this this file is now clean. 
okay uh, so you can see that uh, it's basically like what we were aiming for we, we were aiming for something like this where we have uh, we have sort of a set of functions that are able to manipulate these private variables okay we are able to print the vectors we are able to add vectors and we are able to get vector length uh, and all of these functions are now part of this class and this is one of our examples of object oriented programming okay so uh, let's rename youtube.c++ as object oriented dot c plus plus or vectors dot c plus plus okay so I'm gonna git add and git commit uh, object oriented vectors added I'm gonna git push it up okay I'm gonna quit this okay I want to git remove dot class c c plus plus swap and git status okay git commit deleted swap file that, that's fine uh, shouldn't take too much space git push all right and this will be you can go and check it out on my github all right and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time we're going to discuss more stuff Hopefully, this, this shows you, you know, lots of uh, uh, how to work with uh, vectors and, I mean, no, arrays and classes. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.